And breaking news coming in, US President Joe Biden has tweeted on the Turkey quake. He has said, and I quote, I am deeply saddened by the loss of life and devastation caused by the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. I have directed my team to continue to closely monitor the situation in coordination with Turkey and provide any and all needed assistance. That's the piece of breaking news that's coming in. That pitch coming in from US President Joe Biden. I'm joined by my colleague Siddhant, who's getting us this piece of breaking news. Siddhant, so even though Turkey and the United States are on opposite ends when it comes to strategic interests, uh, US extending that helping hand to Turkey in their hour of need. Well, absolutely. And in fact, uh, uh, you see that not just US, even India uh, uh, doesn't share uh, the similar ideology with the incumbent government in Turkey. But, uh, you know, U.S., U.K., India and all the major countries have come out and, in fact, uh, uh, they have uh, departed their teams and, in fact, uh, uh, many countries are in a process of departing their rescue teams to Turkey because, uh, because this is perhaps one of the most uh, uh, tragic um, natural calamity of this decade. And, in fact, uh, the death toll, this is what uh, the, uh, the global news agencies are reporting, the death toll has crossed more than 2,500 marks, and more than 2,000 buildings have uh, have collapsed. And in, uh, even the government of Turkey doesn't have uh, the right assessment of the situation because with each uh, passing uh, hour, uh, situation is getting worse. And in fact, uh, you know, rescue teams are facing tough times because of the weather uh, to carry out rescue operations. And uh, and you know they are they are being outnumbered by refugees. They are being outnumbered by number of buildings which have got collapsed. So that is the situation of Turkey and Syria on ground. So so in fact uh, you know by the end of uh, uh, by the end of the evening uh, uh, that entire area of bordering Syria suffered uh, three earthquakes, and that has made even more the situation even more critical. For the rescue teams to carry out rescue work, and in fact, uh, uh, the uh, the weather uh, condition there is also deteriorating, which is even making uh, the operations, rescue operations, even more tough for the rescue teams. In fact, you know, all over the social media platforms, uh, we can see uh, the visuals of building getting collapsed. People Absolutely. are uh, rushing to the safer sites, safer spots. So that is the situation. Back to you. Right. Thank you, Siddharth, for getting us that piece of breaking news. Now, getting you a 